Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to talk about growing hernia, one of the most common uh, surgery in the United States. All right, so what to expect? A lot of people ask me about how long it will take. My surgical average time for the hernia surgery is about 60 minutes, one hour. Uh, recovery from the anesthesia takes about one hour or so. So you will be uh, in the PACU for at least one hour, making sure your pain is controlled and you're urinating well, eating well. A lot of times these inguinal hernia surgery is an elective procedure, meaning you come in the morning and you go home on the same day. Pain or discomfort usually takes five to seven days post-op, that's normal. The first two days, that's the toughest. So please do not hesitate to take the pain medication. And uh, right after the surgery, you might not feel anything because of the local anesthetic that I give in the operating room, and then I will give you a nerve block. So for that sense, that will help. But day two, three, that's usually the toughest day. And then gradually subsides over the course of one week or so. You will have absorbable suture along the incision. So uh, you don't need to worry about anything about the suture. It's absorbable suture. You will see white strip. It's called the steri strip. Please let them come off, naturally peel off. Usually it does in within two weeks. Uh, swelling along the incision, that's expected. Uh, I would recommend to use any ice packs to the swelling to subside, and that usually helps. Ambulation, uh, right after the surgery, that's totally fine. As long as you are comfortable moving around, that's totally fine. However, please make sure do not do any of the strenuous exercise within the two weeks or so. Diet, you can eat anything. There is no diet limitation here. Wound care. As I mentioned, you have a steri strip, and then of course you have internal stitch, so you don't need to worry about. Uh, going into the limitation, uh, no heavy lifting for fifth, more than 15 pounds. That's what I usually recommend. How long? Uh, minimum two weeks. I usually follow up in my office at that point. I will discuss again. Best healing will happen until six to eight weeks. Minimize the chance of recurrence of the hernia. When to call? Uh, this is very important. Anything significant pain from the growing, you need to let me know. Fever, temperature about 101.4, uncontrolled pain, no bowel movement for three days, and shortness of breath. Any new onset of shortness of breath, uh, please let me know. Chest pressure or pain. If there is anything concerns you, just call my office and get the further advice. Um, lower leg swelling, persistent nausea, extreme bruising, a little bit of a pain post-op, this is normal, but spiking a fever or drainage from the incision, incision opening up, this is definitely not normal post-op cause, so please, please, please call me. Uh, in terms of the pain medication, I usually use Percocet. This is what I usually use for the pain control, and I will follow up within two weeks in my office. Bowel care. I know this is a groin surgery and some of the people think why am I, I am talking about the bowel regimen. It is very important to any type of operation if you are going under the general anesthesia, bowel function goes down. They, they were put in sleep and it will take a little bit of time to wake up. Having said that, if you are coming into the surgery with a severe constipation, not a good idea. After the operation, I don't want you to have a severe pain coming from the severe constipation. If you're going to the operation for the hernia repair with me, please make sure that you're not, you don't, any surgery, you know, if you're going to any surgery, please uh, make sure you're not constipated. And in order to avoid that, take vegetable fibers and Senna Colace Miralax, that will be helpful. Just daily use. These are the over-the-counter drugs that makes you go, make sure you're when you take those medications, take enough, plenty of fluid, seven glasses of water a day, and this will definitely keep you away from the constipation and you're gonna have a smooth recovery from that growing hernia. I specifically talk about this growing hernia repair as the open procedures because uh, it's a quick procedures. The way I do, it's the technique, it's called the Liechtenstein tension-free mesh repair. Um, I will use a self-adhesive mesh to that actual hernia defect size after reduction of the hernia sac or ligating hernia sac. So then I will put the mesh nicely lay on top of the defect to cover 
and usually I don't do any stitch with this uh, mesh uh, because there's a reason the giving the stitches to those area can cause another extra pain it's potential and then to prevent any chronic pain I think this is very good and this is especially this is a self adhesive component uh, this mesh is a self adhesive so once I put it will self stick we do have a good outcome with this self adhesive mesh repair so this is the reason that I use uh, usually use this uh, technique uh, hope that will conclude the instruction for open uh, growing hernia repair and hopefully this will be helpful uh, for some of you that about to get the surgery and scheduled and um, if you like this video then please uh, help us for subscribe this channel and hope i didn't waste your time all right then uh, i will see you on the surgery day all right have a good day